Hey y'all, Tiff here. Let's do us a pouch. And guess what? We got my Wacky Face Stencils by Stencil Girls products. And oh my goodness, this is gonna be fun. So I am using a pre-made $1.49 Hobby Lobby um, zipper pouch. And I'm using my Uniball Micro Air black ink pen okay so you don't necessarily have to use this exact one you could also use um acrylic um and do like acrylic paint through your stencil if you want to what i do want to call out here is if you use a pen make sure that you're using a permanent ink pen okay because we don't want these girls, these wacky faces getting up, moving, and grooving, right? We want them to stay. Now, I'm going to go around, and you can tell that I'm not using this stencil um, in the exact order that it is, okay? Meaning that with this stencil, you really have the freedom to kind of move these faces around to make it work for your design. Now, I just love how wacky each of these girls, some of them have glasses, some of them have um, teeth, some of them have <laughs> um, freckles. You can see they're all just wackadoo and so super fun. I have got lots of plans for my, my designs and lots of ideas on how to use these super fun and funky faces. So it's going to take me a little bit of time to get around and do all of um, these with my pen. So I just also wanted to say that with the launch of this stencil, I launched three other ones. So I have four total designs available now through Stencil Girl Designs. And you can go, I'm going to link them in the description box below. But I just can't wait to see what everybody creates um, with these stencils. So for this particular thing being an already pre-made pouch um i wanted to make sure that it looked as if though it was fabric and so what i mean by that is fabric when you buy a printed blouse for example your fabric doesn't all stay in the middle because you can see at the bottom i have that very um, edge of that girl that's going off with the glasses there at the bottom. So you want to kind of overlap and if you have a seam that's already created or even if you're using this on some, um, you know, just straight up muslin and you're using this and it's not sewed, just make sure that you let it go kind of over the edge a little bit so it appears as if though the fabric was printed this way and it just really, I don't know, has a more natural transition when you don't have it perfectly done like you would if you bought at the store because you know sometimes if you have like a floral the floral gets cut off on your arm and it doesn't always match up exactly so just be mindful of that if you're using that i think that is really a way for you can just kind of go up a little bit on your work now y'all already know i had to add me some neon pink because your girl tiff right here loves me some pink and so i'm going to use the liquitex marker and i am just it's very fluid and so I'm adding me some cute little lipstick and I added me some pink glasses. And now you can also see that this is a great stencil where you can add too. So I wanted to do maybe like some black and white lines around these glasses because y'all know I love me some different glasses. And so it would not be very Tiffany-like if I didn't accentuate those glasses. <laughs> and so um, one of the things I was thinking about is we're about to be in it. Can you y'all believe it? We are about to be in the gift giving season, y'all. And so would this not be the most adorable um, gift that you could give someone? And it's very affordable. All you got to do is go get the stencils. All you got to do is go get you some of these zipper pouches. But would this not be just the 
cutest thing for a little party. Maybe you're going to have like a little get together with some of your girlfriends or maybe um, you're going to get together with your kids or your grandkids. You can see I'm adding a little bit of eyelashes. Um, if they don't have freckles and I want to add freckles, then you can go in and do that. But really, these are made <laughs> to just enjoy and give yourself a little smile. Now, what I will tell you is I was thinking, hmm, we got to up this ante a little bit. So you'll notice at the end when I show the still shots, make sure that you check out the still shots. I actually added a ruffle, a black and white ruffle with fabric and if you've ever tried to film fabric sewing on a sewing machine um yeah it is very cumbersome to try to film that for y'all but I did just want to let you know to check out the steel shots because I go in and I added a black and white ruffle and I will also just tell you that I attached it with um some Fabri-Tac Fabri-Tac 3-in-1 by Beacon. What's up, Beacon? Um, Beacon Fabri-Tac will hold that fabric onto your little pouch. I just did a little drizzle across the top there and stuck that um, black and white fabric down, and it worked like a charm. So just wanted to give you that heads up because I did not film that portion, but I really hope that you enjoyed this. I can't wait to see what you create with these stencils. And again, you can check all four of my stencil designs um, that's available with Stencil Girl products. You can check the description down below so you can get your own. And look, y'all know I had to jazz it up with little blue eyes. My eyes are not blue. Huh. I got the short end of the stick. Mine's just brown. But I did want to give these girls, a few of them, a little pop of blue there. And um, I'm doing that with just my little uh, paintbrush there. Just get a little glitz of, of blue. But this turned out super cute. Let me know if you love it in the chat, down in the comments. Till next time, y'all. Toodaloo.